Mastering English. Understanding possessive adjectives versus possessive pronouns. Hello learners. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we are going to delve deeper into the exciting world of grammar fundamentals, focusing specifically on possessive adjectives versus possessive pronouns. But don't worry, we will make it fun and easy to understand by sharing lots of examples. First, let's take a look at possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives are used to show ownership or a relationship between people or things. These include my, your, his, her, its, are, there. For example, we might say, this is my book. Where is your phone? This is their house. Now, let's move on to possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns also show ownership or a relationship, but they replace the object of ownership entirely. The possessive pronouns are mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, theirs. For instance, instead of saying, this is my book, we could replace my book with the possessive pronoun and say, this is mine. To make it clear, the primary difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns is that possessive adjectives modify the noun following them, while possessive pronouns replace that noun. Consider these examples. That's my car. Possessive adjective, my, modifying, car. That's mine. Possessive pronoun, mine, replacing, car. Time to look at more examples of possessive pronouns. This is yours. Possessive pronoun, yours, replaces the noun. I think this pen is hers. Possessive pronoun, hers, replaces, her pen. The choice is ours. Possessive pronoun, ours, replaces, our choice. The last slice of pizza is theirs. Possessive pronoun, theirs, replaces their slice of pizza. And that brings us to the end of this lesson. We hope this has helped you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Keep practicing these in your conversations and writing. It might be tricky at first, but with practice, it will become second nature. Remember, practice makes perfect. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next lesson. Happy learning!